Hey everyone, I'm going to show you an error here that had completely baffled me for a few days. Something that my students kept running into and it was really annoying. Quite simple, uh, when they load their MetaHuman into Maya, they might find that the animation controls here have no effect whatsoever on the face. For the most part, the first time I saw this happen, the first few people who showed it to me, it was the very first time that they opened up the MetaHuman in Maya after exporting it from Bridge. But then I also discovered that this happened to some people even after they'd started animating, they saved their file, and when they reopened it again later on, the animation controls ceased to have any effect. And I really didn't know what was going on. But the clue, which I should have paid attention to, was actually down here all along. It's about this DNA file, and I wasn't really sure what that was. But it is something that Epic Games has used as a way to uh, mesh all this wonderful stuff together, metahuman stuff together, inside of Maya. And if it is not properly linked, if the linkage gets broken in some way, this is the result. These cease to work. But fortunately, the fix is really easy. Um, the location, not as obvious, but it's not hard to find. What you need to do, really, is just click on the head and go into your attribute editor, and you'll come over to your nodes, and you're looking for this one that's gonna be your character name underscore RL. And within this node, there is a link to the DNA file. Now, as I look at this one here, there's a, a double slash, um, and for some reason, I don't know what that is, but I think what's happened is that either through a process of, of renaming their files or moving their files to different locations, uh, these people have had their project get disrupted in some way. All you got to do though is just click on this folder and go and find your original DNA file for this particular project. And so if I back out of here and go into the one that's associated with it, uh, 8K, UESaurus, MetaHumans, uh, Amelia, Source Assets, um, and then I'll need to go to all files here so they all display. I just need to relink this RL DNA right there. And as soon as I do that, then I should find that it is working again, which is exactly what I want. Now, uh, that's the real simple solution. I only have one level of detail in here. Um, in fact, actually, I, I haven't tested this on multiple levels of detail, but it should work similarly. If you find that it's difficult to get that to work, there is another way to do this. And that is to go in and save out your file as a Maya ASCII file, a .ma file. Um, so that would be shoop, this. Right now, this is an MB file, Maya binary. Um, but if you save it as Maya ASCII, then you can open it up inside a text editor, any old text editor that you want. And uh, I use Notepad++. I could go in and open up uh, a version of this and it takes a little while to load in. And all you need to do, basically what the difference here is, if you're not familiar, Maya binary is a smaller file usually. Uh, it puts it in kind of a, a language that Maya can read, but you can't in the text editor. Whereas Maya ASCII, it's a bigger file, but it outputs every little command that is run inside of Maya um, when the file is opened in a way that you can read them as well, which means that you can actually search for pretty much anything in this file, uh, including looking for something like if I hit Control F, I look for DNA and just let that run through there. Um, and as you'll see, it will find it here um, on the 3 millionth, 600 thousandth line of code. So I'm glad I didn't have to look up that myself. Um, and I can find the DNA file. Now this is the correct path here for my computer, but uh, originally it didn't have the correct path here. So I had to go in and input it. Now, um, when you paste these paths out of, um, you know, out of out of uh, the computer here, so if I were to go in real quick and find that path, then um, I would just grab this here, copy and paste, and paste that in here, right? But the trouble is, um, I have to make sure that I have the correct slashes, so. Uh, I need to make sure that they're actually forward slashes here inside the text file, even though they are backslashes coming out of Windows. So I just have to go in and make sure that I correct all of those before I would save this out. So I'd go through, I'd do that for all these backslashes, um, save it out, save it as a Maya ASCII file again, 
and uh, so it's just .ma, and then you can open this file inside of Maya and all, it will all load as well. So there's two different ways to solve that same problem. Uh, this way may be a bit more straightforward for solving the various level of detail uh, if you have multiple LODs inside of your scene. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to pass that on because I, I was struggling to find a solution for so long and I was very happy when I did. Thanks for watching.